Welcome to video number 24. In this video, we are going to look into the pagination in SSRS. I already made these videos earlier, but due to some audio problem, I had to remake this thing again. Alright, so let's get started without wasting much time. And please remember, this is one of the trickiest topic in the SSRS to configure a paging, right? So let's get started. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm in the Visual Studio, as you can see. Now what I'm going to do is add a new item. I'll call this as a report. I'll call this report as uh, I'm sorry pagination all right so um, doesn't matter next thing I'm gonna add a data set and in the data set I'm gonna call this guy as pagination again and uh, as you all know like uh, you know we don't have a data source but instead what we have here is uh, as you all can see uh, you know a generic data source right so I'm gonna choose this one all right so as you can see when I say new and I come here I can use my shared data source reference and this is a data source generic which I just pointed out a few moments back and I call this guy as again data source pagination <coughs> I can assign any name I would like and then I go to my query designer and I'm gonna quickly add my tables let's add my favorite tables order details orders products and the customers add and close as you all know Visual Studio is a smart guy he knows everything about your table so let's choose the product name let's choose uh, the order date and the shipping date let's choose the unit price and let's choose the contact name so these are the things we're gonna choose and we're gonna hit the execute we are getting around like 2155 all right records all right let's hit okay <clears throat> and after hitting the okay you come here then you go to our favorite toolbox and then you start putting your table in it and let's get ourselves a little room and try to make this thing a little white all right <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my report designer I'm gonna drag uh, the things from the data set onto my table report all right next uh, how many columns I need three more one then two and three that's all then order it is done ship date unit price and the contact name this is cool <clears throat> now let's uh, do a little fancy thing head f4 pick some girly color all right i don't know uh, this should look great hit save and let's preview it all right so as you can see you got lots and lots of records all right so but you don't know how many are there I mean on the page you don't know how many records you're seeing right now so if you remember in my past uh, tutorials what I did was like you know uh, I covered this thing uh, function row number let me go caps on row number in which you pass nothing and it will do a magic for you which I have explained in that video so let's see what it does it gives you an order it gives you a number from one to I don't know how many <clears throat> 46 records you're getting right so this is pretty cool all right so now you're getting the 46 records so if you want to do the pagination so what can you do so there's one option you can do is like you know you can go to reports and I'm sorry first you need to choose a design then you need to go to report properties and over there you can see you know uh, this paper size you know which has a 20, uh, 21 centimeter as a width and 29.7 centimeter as a height now if I <coughs> go and change to let's say A6 so you can see the size decreases alright in A4 the size was 29.7 centimeter and in A6 the height is 40.8 so it's pretty small now if I hit OK and if I try to preview again <coughs> so what you can see is not the 46 record at this time but you will see you know the less records at this moment right so this is a kind of one of the way you can do the paging and you can configure your report properties looking at this I mean a lot of guys do for you know for a temporary <coughs> uh, pagination purpose they do and plus uh, there's an option you know a uh, custom you can specify your height and width whatever you feel so if I go go back and if I put as 28 centimeter and if I hit OK and if I try to preview it this time I'm gonna get much more records as compared to the previous one 
right so I hope uh, you'll get the idea like how can you do the paging but this is not the efficient paging this is one of the way you can do the paging so what I'm gonna do is in the next video I'll try to show you how better you can you know perform the paging in the next video alright so if you like this video then please uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you for watching this good night and take care